But the many people in prophetic ministry, they have ventured into divination. Oh, thank you, Lord, for reminding me about this. I was thinking about doing a separate video about this. Or maybe I can just isolate a segment in another video. But there is a teaching that has a great root. But the enemy has a way of coming in to try to pervert the fruit. There are teachings out there regarding, for example, dreams and interpreting dreams and or visions. And it may use, for example, Joseph. And how the Lord used him to interpret the dreams for the cupbearer and the fair cupbearer and the baker and what the different things meant. How it is broken down, where Joseph mentioned by the three baskets being three days. So people can use a model for interpreting dreams. But a part of the rottenness fruit is that sometimes people can get into the mindset of if I dream about this, then it means that. And the interpretation, interpretation of a dream does not come from the Holy Spirit. Yes, the Lord will give things to kings that they have to search it out. They have to search out the matter. That's one thing. But if you're going to search something out, ensure the Spirit of the Lord is with you on the search. Ensure that He is guiding you. Because even, like for example, doing a dream journal, that can get people in trouble. They may think, if I have a dream about this, then it means that. Because I can have a dream about something, and you can have a dream about the same thing. And the meaning is different, in part, because there's a personal meaning for me from the Lord. I've also said before, Zechariah 4 is a great example. The prophet had an encounter in dreams, but he would ask the angel, what do these mean? And even the angel was like, don't you know? He would ask the angel what those things meant. Because there's a difference between having a dream, a vision, and the word of the Lord. In Jeremiah 1, the prophet had two visions from the Lord. But the Lord told him what those visions meant. And sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out. Again, Zechariah 4, Jeremiah 1. Great examples. I know I've taught this before, but yeah, there may be a time where you may have a dream and you just share a dream with a person who it's about or the group and they may know what it means. Joseph, he shared his dreams with his brothers and they knew the meaning. He didn't have to tell them. So sometimes you can just share your dreams. Other times you may need the word of the Lord, which is the interpretation of the dream. And even some things may be a partial interpretation. A dream may have elements that is not really part of the word of the Lord for that dream, but it relates to something else. It's almost like watching a show and it says to be continued. So it can be complex. So ensure that you don't get into the trap of thinking that if you see the number three, then it automatically means the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It could literally mean you have three days, three hours. So let the Holy Spirit guide into all truth. Because sometimes even people who use such a methodology end up getting into a form of divination. It's not malicious, but it becomes a form of divination as opposed to what is truly divine. Prayerfully, I have led anyone astray with any such teachings. I know I do have a dream, uh, or I think it's the most popular video on the channel regarding dream interpretation and what certain things may mean. But it doesn't mean that those things always, or if you dream about this, then it means that. Because context also matters. So again, there's a thin line between what is divine from the Lord versus divination.